This Only in Australia TikTok compilation has been in my watch list for quite a while now. But I didn't want to watch it and just have confused faces. So I've held off until I've learned a little bit more and hopefully I will understand why it's only in Australia. You're an Australian living in the bush. If you cut open your couch, you should find... Where is it? <laughs> what am I looking for? No. No, he's not. The snake's just casual. Uh... So I'm just... It, it's it's everyone knows what we're looking at there, right? Just uh, minding my own business, driving, and this guy has a pet kangaroo <laughs> in his car. How do I get one? Is that an Australian phone number? Oh four one. Is that an Australian number? Has it got his number on? Um, are you even allowed to keep kangaroos as pets in Australia? Hmm. I want one! How cool is he that? He looks quite chilled out. <laughs> Only in Australia. First of all, what a view. What a view. Lovely, lovely mountains. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's it's just so kind of casual. Three kangaroos just chilling on the beach. There's kangaroos everywhere. This is the thing. Uh, some of these really are only in Australia because where else do you find kangaroos? Uh, and it, it's the po I think the point of this is other than the kangaroo is a pet in the back seat, is kangaroos that just appear everywhere in the back garden, for example, you know, in, uh, randomly on the road. And you wouldn't get that anywhere else, would you? So for us, it's like, whoa, what the hell is that kangaroo doing? For you guys, it's probably a little bit more, oh, look, there's a kangaroo. Look a DNA test turns out I'm 100%. Australian. I'll give you the UK version of this. Uh... The UK version of this would be probably horses or cows on the other side of a fence or a squirrel. Uh, that would be the thing where the dogs are like, yeah, uh, but no, you've got koalas. I think that's something that's overlooked in a lot of these. Oh, Australia's full of dangerous animals. Um, it's the creepy crawlies you've got. The creepy crawlies that just appear in your shower. Uh, it's, yeah. What? Overlooked. Oh, it's a frog. It was a frog. <laughs> There's me thinking it was just a creepy crawly. It was just a frog stuck to the side of the shower. So I have a pet lizard that lives under my deck. <laughs> this is Bruce. Hi, Say Bruce. Say hi, Bruce. Mate, that's the wrong way. You're going to get hit. No, you idiot. I've come here for the What is the cockatoo eating? If anyone can tell me, what is the cockatoo eating? Now, there's plenty of people in the UK that have got birds like cockatoos and budgies and all these fancy, um, fancy birds, parrots even. But you wouldn't see them out in public just with it on its lap. Because I can't see these animals, these birds, staying. They would fly, surely. They'd be gone. But this one, when there's food, he will stay. It's just casual. That's what it is. It's so casual. <laughs> it's... Emu. Oi. Food. <laughs> Can you scare it off? Excuse me. 
<laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Down, get away, move, get away from my fucking beard. Oh, <laughs> he's gone. That I think, I think it's not even the emus that make that Australian. It's it's the get away from my beer. That's what I think makes it more Australian. Um, if you haven't already seen, uh, Jack Whitehall did uh, travels with his dad, and he did a two parter, I think, in Australia. And he tries catching emus, and it was a complete disaster. So if you get the chance, it was be uh, what was it? Netflix, I think. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. Oh, Quade Cooper. He made. He's now an Australian. Um, they actually showed it on the last leg. They showed um, the viral clip of of a, a couple about to play golf and literally. I literally tens of, of kangaroos just sat on the on the golf course. And like, what do you do? Do you keep playing? What if you hit one of them? Is that a crime to hit one of them with the ball? Glad Quaid Quaid Cooper got Australian nationality, Australian citizenship or nationality. Are they parakeets? Parakeets. What is that? What is that? What's so thinking? Oh, he's got food. Oh, great. Fascinating. Fascinating. Um, I'm going to link it back to me. Um, robins. We get robins, okay? Robins are very territorial. But robins used to um, follow pigs and hogs because they used to disrupt the soil and then the, the robins could come in. They quite often will be in gardens now um, and you can teach them. You can teach them and you can gain trust with them to eat out of your hand. Um, and robins are lovely, lovely birds. Guys, I'm about to show you one of Australia's most magnificent, renowned creatures ever to grace this country's soil I give you the bin chicken <laughs> the bin chicken that's their fault for leaving leaving taking the lid off fine specimen they are disgusting those heads the the long beaks oh they are grim aren't they they are really grim the uh, the old ch bin chickens the abyss Things at an Aussie supermarket that just makes sense. Kangaroo meat. I mean, why not eat Australia's national animal? Pixie. Pixie loves kangaroo treats that we were sent. Absolutely loves them. You can find kangaroo meat in the barbecue section of any supermarket in steak, meatball, burger, mince or sausage form. Kangabang is a mash, anyone? Those sausages looked awful. Okay, ready? You're brave. After what happened to old Steve Irwin, that is brave. So it is about 6.30 a.m. in Australia right now. And just came to check on the cats. How are you, bud? Hey, bud, how are we? Hey, how are we? There's a fucking possum in my room. <laughs> what the hell is it doing? <laughs> what the hell is it doing up on the top of the bloody curtain rail? Jesus. Making my way back home. It's been a long day. Time to see my fluffy dog. <laughs> wow, <laughs> <what is it? laughs> no, thank you. Koalas are so cute. But, so koalas are really, really quite cute, and obviously they don't want to exert much energy, do they? Um. But they can have a tendency to be vicious little bastards, can't they? So be careful. Be careful, Aussies. Just chilled. Nice. No wonder why koala like plushy cuddly toys are so popular look how cute they are oh yeah typical afternoon in australia sheds closed up chooks are all in 
good old mate Knuckles the Echidna is digging himself a home next to the front gate. I have learnt that is an echidna, the one of only two mammals to lay eggs. I have learnt that. I learnt it the hard way, but I learnt it. Um, I also find it really interesting that you call chickens chooks. Saying that, we do have a burger place that has a chook burger. So, it's just not something that we would call it. All is well in the world. That's uh, legal. Well, I don't know if it's legal in your country. It is in ours. Can you get out of the fast lane? Hello? Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if you could move out of the fast lane for me, please. <laughs> yeah, I I'm up behind you, mate. I'm just wondering if you could out of the fast lane for me. You're sitting on a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. Even though he has only just passed. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is br one of my pet peeves. One of many, because I'm a, you know, whinging pom. Um, middle lane drivers. Middle lane drivers or people that sit on the outside lane. You think, just go over. You, you know, you hold your flash, flash your lights, for example, and them and bad parkers. That was brilliant. I love that. Just a frog. Casual frog. Imagine if you were actually having a bath or a shower and you thought that was real soap and that would be a real shock, wouldn't it? Is sorry, was that frog having a stretch? He was definitely having a stretch. Just no, just no, I hate, oh, look at the legs. Run. I hate spiders. You can't have that. No, you can't have that. Oh. For fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just, no, no, please, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, knowing that you're not getting it back. She's brave, because cassowaries can be pretty vicious as well. I'm pretty sure that Casper could happily just turn around and be like, yeah, I'm having you. Um, is it the Casperies that have got the, the the claws on the back? The, the, the yeah, the thorny, clawy things, the spikes on the back of their, their legs? Or is that just the emus? Or maybe neither of them do. I may be overthinking this. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Casperies are quite vicious. So that's brave. Hmm. Hang on, look at this. So is it, this cassavary is eating this whole orange apple, whatever it is, in one, and you can see it going straight down his neck. <laughs> look at it, it's just going straight down his neck, and a little gulp. <laughs> look! It didn't even chew. It may not be able to chew, but you get my point. Oh, you're a big tough boy, aren't ya? <laughs> oh, I'm a dinosaur! <laughs> Still to this day, it is attached to his finger. at our campsite. What's they've seen? And right at our tree. Great. What lizard is that? Oh, just... It's blending in quite well. It's like, no, I am a tree. <laughs> They're so cute as well. How can I help you? It's just kangaroos. Oh, I, I think. I think anyone from outside of Australia are fascinated by kangaroos. They're just so unlike any other animal. Okay, when I say that, obviously wallabies, and there's another little one as well in there. But besides them, they're so unlike any other animal that it's just 
bizarre to anyone else outside of Australia. They're fascinating. Just the the way they hop or jump, it just doesn't look natural. But obviously, it's a really efficient way of travelling. Apparently. Hang on, I need to get back to that. What is going on? <sighs> is that definitely, I reckon that is a girl koala being pestered by a boy koala. Maybe they've had one too many drinks and the boy is being insistent. Uh, I think that's possibly what it is. Boys. Filth. No, thank you. No. No, we're okay. Put it back in. No, thank you. No, 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 we don't want any of this. Come off the driveway. Come on. I just, just want oh. you to go away. Oh, snakes and spiders. That's the way. Nike. Sorry. Nike. They are they are the two sort of animals that I am not a fan of. Yeah. Well I think I, I think I understood why most of the things in this were only in Australia. Um but there's that fascination because Australia has has drifted off and the animals, a lot of them are so unique. There is that fascination, isn't there? There really is that fascination of, because we don't see them in our countries. You know, if we want cows and horses and squirrels and dogs and rain, no, not reindeer, deer, um, fine. But kangaroos, koalas, the typical Australian animals that we just do not see. And that is why there is a real fascination but i would like to think i got most of them i'm glad i've done this now rather than months ago when i would have been like what what anyway thank you so much for watching make sure you do the obvious like subscribe hit the bell icon join the discord server subscribe to the vlog channel and yeah i'll catch you next time